Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So welcome back. Um, in the previous tutorial, we have seen how to create the SED type 2 in our using our Informatica mapping designer. So we have already created this and we have created a workflow also for that. So now going to the uh, workflow manager, here is our session that I have created. Make sure you are giving the proper path for your source and target. Just go to mapping, source and here in the source file directory make sure you're giving the proper path of your source and the make sure your source file is also proper as our source is going to be a flat file and uh, coming to our make sure for both the sources you're giving the proper path in the file name coming to our target our target is nothing but some um, relational writer that is our oracle database itself so no need of changing anything over here so what i'm going to do is just um, after doing all the you know manipulations just uh, save your session i have nothing to save here because i've already done it so just save and uh, coming to our source you can see this is what our data that is present in our source so for the first time all these records will be uh, you know updated in our source sorry updated in our database just right click say start task uh, you can monitor that in your workflow monitor you can see here it's running so once when it becomes successful, you can just go and see your database whether the data is being loaded properly or not. So it's taking time. Okay, it succeeded. Now going to our Oracle SQL Developer, just run this query. You can see all the data has been uh, updated. So something is null over here. I don't know why. Okay, it's because I haven't given the proper uh, delimiter that's why that's not a problem so you can uh, make sure your flat file is having proper delimiter or not now let me change my uh, record so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the location of the person A first it was Mumbai now I'm going to say it's going to be something like uh, US just save the file okay now what is going to happen is you can see all the flag has been set to yes because there that is the their current location okay now uh, going back to our workflow manager just right click and say start task go to workflow monitor in order to monitor the things it succeeded now if you go back and check our database you can see first uh, the person's uh, yes uh, location was mumbai that flag has been set to n that is now it's not the current location and you can see the other location is us is set to y so this is how we are going to make use of a SCD type 2 where it will be having all the records the present and as well as the history records so you can see the history record is also present the present record of the person A is also present so this is how we need to achieve by uh, achieve the result by using our SCD type 2 hope you guys have understood and if there are any queries then please do mail me to plsql.informatica.gmail.com and keep supporting my videos I'll come up with more Informatica scenarios in the upcoming tutorials and thank you very much for watching.